When Peter comes to Jesus and he says this, he says, Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall, I, shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times. So he comes to him and he says, listen, if my brother offends me, should I forgive him seven times? And if you think about it, in the religious leaders of that day, three was the only required. Three times, it was like three strikes and you're out. So Peter felt like, well, if I doubled it and added one more and said, I'm so righteous and I have this uh, such forgiving heart that if I have the standard of doubling it plus one, Look how loving I am. Look how willing to forgive I, forgive I am. Is that okay with you, Jesus? Is this what you're talking about in your kingdom? And Jesus responds with an outstanding answer, an astounding answer. In verse 22, Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. 70 times seven. Now, if you think about it, just pure mathematical um, facts, that's 490 times. And yes, I got my degree from a school in Alabama, so I used a calculator on that, all right? But 490 times, all right, Jesus used this number, but it wasn't just a number for you to count that off or tick it down. It was an exaggerated number. It was a hyperbole. A hyperbole is an exaggerated point or an exaggerated number to get across a point. And this is what he's saying. He's like, this is something that's beyond the limit. Like, if your brother or sister in Christ offends you and they are repentant, they come to you and they ask for forgiveness, you're not to harbor these hatred feelings in your heart and bring them up every time there's a new offense. Like, you've already asked me this four times or three times or two times or 50 times. The principle is clear. If your brother or sister asks you for forgiveness, you give them forgiveness just as Christ has given forgiveness to you. As we as Christians, that's what he was saying. Us as Christians, those who are disciples of Christ, it's not three strikes you're out. It's not 490 times and we still have harboring hate in our heart. And we can't wait until we get to that number to be able to mark you off our list. No, what Jesus is getting to is the heart. He's getting to our heart. True forgiveness is in the heart. It begins in the heart. It ends in the heart. It's a work of the Lord. And Jesus is saying, in my kingdom, it's not a number. It's not meeting a requirement or satisfying a certain law. It is something that is of the heart. And you are to forgive those and hold that offense not against them any longer. No longer to hold that offense against them. And if you just think about it, and practically in life, this goes a long way in helping you in a lot of areas. I think of just one area in your marriage. Uh, if you are married, you know you make a lot of mistakes. And if your spouse is here, I'm sure they'd say amen, right? And we make a lot of mistakes. We say a lot of things we don't mean. We do a lot of things that we shouldn't do. And, and if you sit there and every time they do it, you just count it up and count it up and say, this is the 100th time or 50th time. Or you say, you always do this. You never do that. That your heart has never truly given forgiveness. You have bitterness in the root of your heart. And that root of bitterness uh, will make everything you do bitter. No peace, no joy, none of those things. I heard of a story of a man and woman who went to their pastor for some marriage counseling. And the man sat down and the pastor said, well, what's your problem? And he said, well, every time we get into a fight, my wife gets historical. And he says, you mean hysterical? And he goes, no, historical. She brings up everything I've ever done wrong since we got married. <laughs> it's just, and every time you think about this, we shouldn't be historical. We should have this forgiveness, this standard in our heart. When we come to forgiveness, we forgive someone and we do it. And the kingdom of Christ and our reaction is to be, we completely forgive that person.